10 blocks per second on a proof of work chain. While Bitcoin is out here chugging along at one block every 10 minutes, Caspa just casually decides to process blocks faster than you can refresh your portfolio. And no, they're not cheating with proof of stake. This is raw, decentralized, mining powered chaos running at internet speed. The kicker? Most people still don't know this project exists. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, and if you're not subscribed yet, do yourself a favor and smash that button right now because we're about to break down one of the most slept on projects in crypto. Drop a like if you're tired of slow blockchains, and let's get into it. Caspa isn't your average altcoin trying to reinvent the wheel with fancy marketing and empty promises. This is a proof-of-work blockchain that's actually solving the one problem Bitcoin never could. Speed, without sacrificing decentralization. And here's what makes it wild. Caspa doesn't throw away competing blocks like Bitcoin does, it keeps them, it orders them, it uses them. The result? A network that confirms transactions almost instantly, while staying completely decentralized. After the crescendo upgrade earlier this year, Caspa jumped from roughly 1 block per second to nearly 10 blocks per second on mainnet. That's not a typo, that's a seismic shift for any proof-of-work network. So today, we're diving deep into what Caspa actually is, how the CAS token works, where the roadmap is headed, and why this proof-of-work outlier could absolutely explode if the market heats up. Now, before you think this is just another Bitcoin clone with a speed boost, let me stop you right there. Caspa runs on something called a block DAG, that's a directed acyclic graph for the nerds in the audience. In plain English, multiple blocks created at the same moment don't fight each other for dominance. They all get included. They all get ordered. Traditional blockchains like Bitcoin, well, they basically throw competing blocks in the trash, which creates bottlenecks and, honestly, just slows everything down. Caspa looks at that system and says, nah, we're keeping everything, and that's where the speed comes from. But here's the tension. Can a proof-of-work chain really scale without breaking decentralization? Can it compete with proof-of-stake giants like Ethereum and Solana, you know, the ones that already dominate smart contracts and DeFi, and more importantly, can Caspa attract enough attention in a market that's obsessed with narratives and hype cycles? According to the Caspa development team, the answer is a resounding yes, and the data backs it up. The Crescendo upgrade proved that 10 blocks per second is not only possible, but sustainable on mainnet. That's already faster than Litecoin, Dogecoin, and most other proof-of-work chains combined, but they're not stopping there. The next upgrade, Dagnite, is designed to improve block ordering even further and reduce orphan rates under global latency conditions. Translation, even faster confirmations without compromising security. My take, this is the kind of innovation that Bitcoin maxes refuse to acknowledge because it challenges the Bitcoin is the only real proof-of-work chain narrative. But Caspa is proving that proof-of-work isn't outdated, it just needed better architecture. Let's talk about the CAS token itself because this isn't just some speculative meme coin. CASPA token is the fuel that keeps the entire network running. Every transaction, every data movement, every UTXO interaction pays its fee in KS. And because CASPA produces blocks so quickly, fees stay absurdly low while confirmations arrive almost instantly. That's the sweet spot for real-world usage. Fast, cheap, and reliable. Security comes from good old-fashioned proof-of-work mining, just like Bitcoin. Caspa uses the K-heavy hash algorithm and miners earn block rewards plus transaction fees. But here's where it gets interesting. Caspa doesn't do the dramatic halving events that Bitcoin does every four years. Instead, Caspa follows a smooth halving model where rewards shrink every single month at a steady rate. This averages out to a yearly halving curve that's heading toward a maximum supply of roughly 28.7 billion KS. Personally, I love this approach because it removes the shock factor of sudden supply cuts while still creating long-term scarcity. It's predictable, it's fair, and it doesn't create artificial pump and dump cycles around halving dates. And speaking of fairness, Caspa's launch was as clean as it gets, no ICO, no pre-mine, no venture capital dump on retail investors, just pure decentralized mining from day one. That adds massive credibility in a space where, you know, most projects launch with insiders holding 30% of the supply before the public even gets access. Unlike governance tokens that pretend to be decentralized while a foundation controls everything, Caspa doesn't have on-chain governance. Protocol changes happen through node updates and consensus upgrades, like the move to the Rust-based client. That means KAS is purely about fees, security, and value transfer, nothing more, nothing less. And honestly, another major goal is consensus innovation. The team is actively developing Dagnite, which is, you know, an upgrade specifically designed to improve block ordering and reduce orphan rates under global latency. In other words, Dagnite should keep Caspa's confirmations nearly instant, 
even as throughput scales higher. This ongoing research into Phantom, Ghost Dag, and now Dag Knight really shows that Caspa isn't just copying Bitcoin's playbook, they're actually rewriting it. My expert opinion? This is the kind of foundational work that, honestly, doesn't get enough attention in crypto because it's not flashy. But this is what separates real projects from vaporware. Finally, adoption is front and center. Caspa is working hard to broaden participation. The mission is crystal clear, become the most scalable, decentralized, and secure proof-of-work chain in existence, one that rivals or even surpasses traditional blockchains in speed while staying true to decentralization. And based on what I'm seeing, they're well on their way. Caspa's roadmap focuses on three pillars, throughput, programmability, and usability. Throughput got its first major win with the Crescendo upgrade, which boosted block production to about 10 per second. Next up is Dagnite, which will make block ordering faster and more secure, paving the way for even higher speeds without compromising proof-of-work security. According to the development team, Dagnite is a game-changer because it addresses the global latency issues that plague most high-throughput blockchains. On the programmability side, Casplex Layer 2 will allow developers to build DeFi platforms, NFT marketplaces, and DApps on top of Caspa, while the base layer remains lean and efficient. This keeps the main chain fast and decentralized while unlocking an entire ecosystem of applications. My take, this is exactly how Bitcoin should have evolved, but maximalists refuse to innovate. Caspa is showing the world what's possible when you combine proof-of-work security with modern scalability solutions. Node software is also a priority. So, the move to the Rust-based client, Rusty Caspa, has really improved speed, efficiency, and security across the board. And you know, future updates will keep making the network lighter and easier to run, which is super crucial as throughput increases and global participation grows. A well-known blockchain researcher once pointed out that node accessibility is the real measure of decentralization, and honestly, Caspa is nailing this aspect. Lastly, the roadmap really emphasizes community growth. From improving mining hardware access to expanding exchange and wallet integrations, Caspa is working hard to increase visibility and adoption. Regular developer updates and active community involvement keep the project transparent and engaged. And in crypto, transparency is everything. Caspa's bullish thesis starts with its unique position in the market. While proof-of-stake dominates the narrative, Caspa proves that proof-of-work can still scale. Its block DAG design delivers speed and throughput that Bitcoin and Litecoin just can't match, not even close. For investors, that makes Caspa more than just another altcoin. It's a proof-of-work innovator with real technological advantages. The tokenomics definitely strengthen that case. With no ICO, a smooth monthly halving that steadily cuts supply and a fair distribution model, Caspa has one of the cleanest launches in crypto history. Miners remain incentivized, but new issuance declines steadily. In a bull cycle, that shrinking supply combined with rising demand could drive serious price growth. According to market analysts, supply shock dynamics are real, and Caspa's emission schedule is perfectly designed to create one. The roadmap is packed with catalysts. Crescendo delivered a massive leap in throughput, Dognite could push it even further, and Casplex will bring programmability that expands Caspa's real-world use cases. Each of these milestones gives traders and investors something concrete to track, fueling momentum and hype. My expert opinion. Caspa has the technical foundation and the narrative to become a top-tier proof-of-work project in the next cycle. Finally, awareness is building. Mining has expanded into the ASIC era, node performance has improved dramatically, and community interest is spreading as Caspa gains exchange listings and media coverage. With speed, security, and innovation all working in its favor, Caspa is positioned to attract serious attention when the next bull market arrives. So here's the bottom line. Caspa proves that proof of work is far from dead. Its block DAG design, instant confirmations, and roadmap full of upgrades like Dagnite and Casplex show that innovation is alive and thriving. For anyone who values decentralization, fairness, and real technological progress, Caspa stands out as one of the most ambitious projects in crypto today. If you enjoyed this breakdown, check out my other videos on altcoin gems and market analysis. Hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay informed, stay early, and remember, the future belongs to those who start preparing for it today. Quick reminder, this is not financial advice. Cryptocurrency is highly volatile and risky. Always do your own research, never invest more than you can afford to lose, and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Trade smart, stay safe.